My name's Michael. I'm the marketing manager for Wild Frontiers. And I'm here at the magnificent site of Persepolis in Iran. I'm on a Wild Frontiers tour of this country, and so far it's been a fantastic experience. The capital Tehran is most people's starting point. And in this busy city you can see ostentatious ornaments from the royal household in the Crown Jewels Museum, and wander around the Shah's old residence, Golistan Palace. Just north of Tehran you can visit the Elburz Mountains for skiing in the winter or hiking in the summer. But the real highlights lay elsewhere. In the off the beaten track city of Yazd, you'll find a cityscape dotted with the ingenious wind tunnels, which could be described as the world's first air conditioning system. The ancient Zoroastrian site of the Towers of Silence, the magnificent Friday Mosque, and a number of beautiful palaces and gardens. Shiraz, meanwhile, is a lovely university town, known as the city of poets, wine, literature and flowers, and is a real delight. I particularly love visiting the atmospheric tomb of the Persian poet Hafez. In the evenings it has a magical atmosphere as people gather to read poetry and celebrate the life of this revered poet. Shiraz is also blessed with numerous picturesque mosques and beautiful gardens. The jewel in the Persian crown, though, is undoubtedly the beautiful city of Esfahan, which has one of the largest squares in the world in the breathtaking Naj Jahan Square, and probably the most stunning Islamic architecture found anywhere. Esfahan is unbelievably picturesque with its famed bridges and lively bazaars. Iran has a long and rich history, with the Persian Emperor at one point ruling over 44% of the world's population. The country is home to some world-class archaeological sites, including the rock-carved tombs of Nagsha Rostam, where Darius the Great is buried, and the spectacular comedic palace complex at Persepolis. This ancient palace was built by Darius the Great to celebrate events such as the Persian New Year, when representatives from the four corners of the empire would congregate. This vast site merits at least a couple of hours to explore the ruins and bas reliefs. But it's not only about the cities and ancient sites, the scenery of Iran is an unexpected highlight. From beautiful picnic spots such as the Mergon waterfalls, to fertile valleys in the Bavanak mountains, where you can encounter Kashkai nomads and see a way of life that has changed little over centuries. In the Dana mountains around Yasuj, you'll find an alpine scenery of snow-capped mountains, lakes and streams. It's well worth spending some time away from the better known cultural sites to explore this lesser known side of Iran. It really is a beautiful country. The people of Iran are another real highlight, being welcoming and keen to engage in conversation about everything from politics to football. You're likely to be surrounded by school kids asking you questions, offered tea, and invited to share in picnics with the locals pretty much wherever you go. If ever a people were misrepresented by a regime, it would be the Iranians. Thanks to a baby boom in the 80s, over 60% of its 70 million population are aged under 30. This generation is well educated, worldly, and exposed to global media through the internet. Walking around the streets, which are incidentally very safe, this certainly feels like a nation on the cusp of change. So forget any preconceptions you may have about safety, security or the welcome you'll receive in Iran. I found the people to be the friendliest and most hospitable I've ever met. So check out Wild Frontiers tours to Iran and explore for yourself this fascinating country.